Hi guys, and we're here with a brief update on the Airfix 124th scale James Bond Little Nelly Auto Gyro. Um, there's not a huge amount, but the main thing is uh, Mr. Bond himself. And I'm gonna bring this in close and, uh, and give you a close up view. This is only the second figure I've ever painted and the first one was a 135th scale Tamiyar tank commander figure which um, got the, the bare basics so this is the first one that I've actually tried to do a little bit of shading and whatnot on. I will state at this point that the sculpting looks absolutely nothing like Sean Connery um, but you know it's, it's very early airfix and when all said and done it looks it looks vaguely like um, a clean shaven fella in uh, the correct kind of clothing a white cotton shirt um, brown trousers and uh, shoes and and a, a hard hat with a uh, cine camera mounted on and earphones and a microphone so it's certainly not the best in the world but let's uh, get up really close So as I say, it's the first, the first figure that I've actually painted and tried to add detail to properly. So while it's not perfect, I'm reasonably pleased with it. I've tried to give him a little bit of a five o'clock shadow and, uh, and I've followed various sort of tutorials from, uh, from YouTube and similar. Uh, the shirt, rather than just go with a straight white color, what I've tried to do with that is using very uh, as using a hint of blue is try to give it a cool white appearance and building up sort of glazes uh, to up to the creases to to a, a purer white the hat is actually an ivory color rather than straight white so you can see the color difference between the shirt and the hat hopefully there and then onto the trousers this was Tamiyar Flat Earth, I think. Then it had an oil wash with um, it's either raw umber or burnt sienna. Um, and then a bit of dry brushing with more flat earth. And then uh, there's another Tamiyar brown for the shoes. I forget which one. Hull red, maybe. Um, and then the socks, I kind of just went with a guess because you can't actually see what colour socks he's wearing. The arms, as you can see here, are not yet... <clears throat> glued in place. The torso and legs have been glued together. The arms are not yet glued in place because I want to be able to position him with his hand hopefully on the throttle and the flight control yoke um, before I glue those in place so that I know that they're going to fit. Other than that, what else do we have? The the body tub, the pod, the front, I'm not sure what you'd call that, as you can see has been painted with the silver and yellow and the tail fin uh, likewise silver and yellow the silver bit is where the decal is going to be applied which is black and silver so i thought better painting that silver than the whole thing yellow uh, the um, main rotor holders while it's stationary uh, hangered or what have you have been painted in red and a couple of other bits in red, the little the little fins. Um, I'll just show you this up close. Now this is the little fin that sits between the rocket pods that go on the rear, the which are the rocket uh, uh, the flamethrowers and smoke launchers, these bits here, and it sits in there. And they were ridiculously thick. So they've been thinned, sanded down, and thinned to give them um, a much more realistic, thinner appearance. But they were as thick at the top as they are there at the bottom. So you can imagine they were very, very thick and chunky. Um, the other thing that were painted red, which shouldn't have been painted red, are these tips which go on the rocket launchers, uh, sorry, not the rocket launchers, the flamethrowers and smoke bombs. And for some reason I'd got in my head that they were red. So I painted those along with the other parts, 
only to discover that uh, they are in fact black so they're they're put back on the stick ready for painting again um, similarly I have the fuel tank assembly which leads up to the main strut and the rotor head control and that's been painted in um, yellow and silver and is now waiting for a coat of clear to dry on it to have a decal applied and the other things that need to be yellow and silver are the little pods the rocket pods on the side these bits here which as you can see have been painted i did start the other one as well you can see that's actually stripped back or mostly back to bare plastic because I'd started painting them. I'd actually got the primer on and then the um, the silver on top of that and then realized as, as I was masking for the yellow that I had painted them both the same way. So they would have both been yellow on that side, silver on that side, which of course would have made that one yellow at the top and that one silver at the top so that's why that's stripped back ready for repainting silly mistake on my part I should have watched what I was doing when I was masking that so that's where we're at with with that um, I'm looking at the frame now originally my plan everything else is still in primer incidentally apart from things like the rocket pods which uh, I've got sprayed in um, Citadel mithril silver aluminium um, and the little intakes the air cooling intakes shrouds for the cylinder heads um, and barrels the the original plan was to paint this entire model using um, acrylics and I was primarily going to use try and use some of my Tamiar acrylics that I bought a few of some years ago and it's just painting this to be honest just reminded me again how how little i like the tamiya acrylics that yellow for example is x7 i think it is it's supposed to be a gloss yellow now that's had a coat of clear on the top which is the only reason you can see a sheen on it but uh, the the acrylics are just they're just really not very good at all so the original plan was to just use purely acrylics which would have meant mithril silver or something similar uh, because I don't like the metal flake in Tamiya's metallics, they're far too big. So it would have meant mithril sulfur or, or similar for the main spar um, along here and then the upright and, and all the main metallic frame parts. But truth is I want, I want a, a better finish. And I'm, uh, I'm actually w wanting to get some of the AK Interactive uh, true uh, true metal paints the ones in the tubes that look like oil paints not the ones in the not the enamel paints in the little bottles that you airbrush but the ones that look like oil paints in the tubes and I watched a few videos on uh, on some of those and one or two of those look like they'd be ideal so I'm hoping to get hold of some of those and use the aluminium version of those to do the frame so it gives it a reasonably shiny but not too shiny like uh, alclad wood finish uh, if I'm not able to then what I'll probably do is use Alclad with a satin varnish over the top to dull it down a little bit so that's where we're at at the moment we've got a few little bits of paint and we've got Mr Bond painted up ready to take to the skies and take on Spectre's evil agents thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video